but you know yeah, not sleeping in the laboratory hey man someone's got to make www you know and, and he's probably stoked on the vision as well it will be a, a, a net positive for people in the life and they'll know that they did something revolutionary you know i want to make <sighs> metaverse classes sure but i think it might be better to take metaverse software software as a service as i saw someone say online is probably where a lot of people right now would would rather make a company around <clears throat> also, yeah, just... and, and this is the the negative part of it but like apple's gonna kill you yes but apple's not gonna enter the game for they're not gonna enter the game until last late you already got in terms of metaverse i think they're gonna enter glasses soon but like okay and, and also so like ar stuff or no or virtual world in glasses yes ar, AR. virtual world i think maybe yeah. both perhaps both because there's also that with defining metaverse like there's virtual worlds and then there's ar well i consider augmented reality by the way i consider that the metaverse as well i consider it very very distinct yeah they're distinct but they're like the same thing not the, they're not the same thing but they're kind of the same thing they're like related the, meta, the metaverse is at the end of the day for enhancing your world right so it's layering software on top of your vision and enhancing your senses let me try to steal someone's definition but continue with the metaverse so i think they're going to do ar and vr the ar is just going to be your everyday glasses and then the vr is going to be a headset um don't know if they'll release at the same time i think they're going to have a closed ecosystem app store where people are going to make apps if you really want to think ahead man i mean yeah so if you really want to think ahead think of a thing because the headset stuff is horrible <laughs> like the head stuff the, the headset stuff i think is going to be the old dell computer of of virtual reality stuff um but could you make a full immersive experience without with just glasses because like extra light gets in there you know you could be distracted on the side like i'm sure you could fit fit the tech in here eventually but i feel like it needs to be like dark that that's the future right you got to think about Unless how, how you make a helmet shade. that's not a helmet that's what it boils down to helmet so that's like a helmet. bam right there i could make that and it could just be first of all it's gonna be a shitty prototype it's gonna be trash like the first five six seven eight ten years like but the, the point time. really is not even to make it to production it's to fucking get acquired sure you know because Apple buys a lot of fucking companies on the sly. Sure, sure, sure. Man, there's also... This, uh, I, I do suggest finding a technology summit online that does networking and just hop in there, man. I said it to someone else, but like just 15 minutes of talking to people that are making stuff, bro, it was very helpful. <laughs> and what are they making? Just uh, some people are making tech that is less middleman for stuff other people were like vc cats there was a vc cat who did like an agency that went to tucson <laughs> at like 94 um and he was just talking about like he worked in startups and then now does like agency stuff to get people to market so i was saying just making something gives you that experience off top um and then like I always link, uh, there's a company called Loop that a man named John Henry Styles made that is, uh, and he is a VC person, made a company. The, the, the brand loyalty is great when you, when you show someone off top. Uh, but he made a company when he was like 18, 19, or 20 or something, and there was a, a million dollar exit. So he was doing VC stuff for a while, and now he's making an insurance company. But just like learning about startup stuff in that world is something I've not uh, hopped into very much, just in like documentaries or media or anything. Uh, but finding people that are doing things that you haven't done yet is probably like the best window to, to starting something. You also learn from people's mistakes. So my advice to anybody is to go find an online summit 
that does tech stuff and does networking and hop on for like four hours, three hours, two hours, 15 little 15 minute meetings. It's great. Hmm. The guy who's running the LA block, well, the event side of the LA blockchain summit worked for Disney hospitality. And I geeked out over that too. Cause you know, Disney bro. Uh Oh, it's like food for Disney and like logistics. Shout out. Mr. Bozan. These new industries are going to be wild. Yeah. This man was just talking about, like, he, he's just, what he was doing for events was, I think, first kind of going through a blockchain uh, that he enjoyed and then just finding projects through Discords and, and, and stuff, which I thought was very inspiring because it's just like, yeah, that's what it is. Um, but then on the other side of not making hardware for VR and AR to go back to it, um, it's like making an app for, for Apple. You'd make an app for Facebook Metaverse. Yeah, but the thing is, too, they make an app for Apple. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like Facebook's kind of going to ruin it. I mean, sorry, Apple's kind of going to ruin it. What? Is because it? they're gonna be like they're gonna make every they're gonna make everything so close and of course it's gonna be better so everyone's gonna use theirs i'm saying facebook's version of that not apple but facebook's still gonna be open facebook's gonna be like you can you don't need to use our app store you can use your own apps you can well, build your own software and pull it in making making something that you would put on meta and have that in the library and you make money off that you talk about their platform horizon I don't know a lot about Horizon. You brought it up before, and I didn't look so, into it. Meta is just the company. The their main product is called Horizon. So think of Horizon like Facebook, but for the metaverse. And any company, any person can make their own make their own Horizon. And if it's better than Facebook's, maybe people will grab toward towards that. But expanding Horizon. This is from the PR group of. Meta at about.fb.com expanding horizon new funding to support creators October 7th, 2021. We launched Horizon's invite only beta last year. We started to build a creator friendly V space in VR with the best in class social world building tools. We spent the past year developing these tools and improving them based on creator feedback. What is that feedback? These early creators have grown the social experiences on the Horizon platform, and we've been amazed by their imagination and creativity on display. We're excited to support them. We're announcing a $10 million creator fund to encourage more people to come build with us as we continue rolling out Horizon in beta. As we grow the social experiences that are part of Horizon, we're rolling out a new name for the experience. Horizon Worlds over the next year will distribute these funds in a few different ways. Do you want to know what ways you're getting funds from, Bon Jen? Yeah. Community competitions. Later this year, we'll launch a series of creator competitions to reward people building the very best worlds in Horizon and who are taking advantage of the tools we offer. We'll offer up to a measly $10,000 in cash prize for the first, second, and third place winners. And we'll share more details on the competition soon. Sign up here. I don't have a referral link, so you don't have that off top. Man, if you make something, it's more metaverse space, but like, listen. listen. Back to the finding metaverse, I would define it as the third iteration of the mobile web or the next iteration of the mobile web. So that can be AR or VR. Web. What? Why mobile web? Because the first iterate, because it's the web that you can take anywhere, iPhone like not on your computer. Yeah, my my thing was at first you had, uh, I mean, it's still. I guess what, that's where you get into brain technology, but I mean, you still have to have like a hardware or contacts or something. But you had t one channel televisions and like radio was your first media, and then kind of the foundation of internet stuff big old servers and then this new wave of apps and and social connecting um i wanted to know people's opinion on the next wave of that and i know i know the probable one is very easy picky fruit metaverse but i wanted to know if anybody had what's the possible not the plausible you know funding for developers there's an accelerator program on horizon 
Man, I, re- I really wanted to buy one just because to see what's good with it. Did you notice the central oil went crazy when he announced Meta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gone. It's uh, something that's interesting because I saw a lot of bigger people um, invest into called Blocktopia. Apparently, uh-huh. it has investments from uh, BitBoy Crypto, Polygon, Avalanche, Crypto Windio. I know um, Cointelegraph was on it. But uh, it has a token. Seems kind of cool. There was another company that built skyscrapers on it. Uh, there's there's Mr. Ben himself. Uh, Blocktopia. It's polygon based. Might be fun. Um, yeah, I mean, virtual virtual worlds is a thing, very much so. Um, and this man got a whole the whole. Damn, they're really getting advertising with their advertising. Maybe they're the first ones to make the worlds, but like the 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 advertising is uh, BitBoy, Crypto, Wendigo, faces all over the place, Polygon, different game, WWE, Undefeated. Seems like a lot of big uh, companies. So that might be interesting. If anybody's looking for a sick 1,000 million 10x gains, bro. Um... Do you have any investments in virtual worlds besides tokens? No. Any tokens? Not yet. No need. No need to FOMO. Be very indifferent. Not yet. I don't. I don't even have a lot of Ethereum, unfortunately. Well, next panic, you know, have some cash 